Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another modding showcase. Today I'm looking at Man on a Sax WWE Day of Reckoning 2 Roster Expansion Mod version 1.0. Day of Reckoning 2 is one of the most beautiful wrestling games out there. The models look fantastic, but a complaint for me and a lot of people is it does not have the roster size of a Here Comes the Pain or a Smackdown vs Raw 2006. With this mod, that problem has been solved because there are a lot of superstars added into this mod. And on top of that, there is a lot of aesthetics fixes, um, stages being climbable, more weapons available, trons and theme changes. There is a lot in this mod, so if you want to know everything that's been changed in this mod, please check out the README. Um, the link will be in the description for that. It's a very simple process of just patching the ROM or patching the ISO, and hopefully you have a fantastic time with this mod because this is a mod that makes Day of Reckoning 2 on par with the likes of the SmackDown series for me. We finally have a full roster and we have so much added and hopefully you enjoy this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the roster. I'm gonna kick off with a hardcore match because as I said, there's more weapons available in terms of how many you can pull out. Now I don't know what the limit is in the other wrestling games, but I think Raw 2 was the one where you could dish out the most. Well, uh, Man on a Sack has completely destroyed that limit here. You can bring out so many things, it's incredible. So let's go through the roster first before we get into our first match. So we have our Day of Reckoning 2 um, regulars, and I will try to add context to who's been added and such. So Batista, Big Show, Booker T. First added person here, we have Bubba Ray Dudley in an accurate attire from 2004, from when uh, they were working for Paul Heyman and they were on the SmackDown brand. Carlito, Charlie Haas has been added in, Chavo Guerrero, Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, Chris Masters, Christian, you can see the render here, his logos have been added back in, nice little aesthetic touch there. Um, Doug and Danny Basham, the Basham brothers, Devon Dudley has been added in, Eddie Guerrero, um, that's a different render there because the tights are different, I can see that from there. Edge, Eric Bischoff, your general manager of Raw, if you ever want to beat up Bischoff for what he did. Um, as manager, if you want to kick his ass as Eugene, perfect example there. Garrison Cade, Hardcore Holly, Hiding Greich, JBL, Jerry Lawler, John Cena, The Coach, Kane, Kenzo Suzuki, Kurt Angle, Dancing Lance Storm, Luther Reigns, which is a custom model, it looks fantastic. I'll show you one of the tag team entrances after this. Mark Jindrak, Matt Hardy, Maven, restored to the game, Mike Kyoda, Muhammad Hassan, Orlando Jordan, Paul E. Dangerously, Paul Heyman himself, Paul London, Randy Orton added a wrist tape in the render, Rene Dupree, Rey Mysterio, the gloves added to the render, Rhino, Ric Flair, RVD, Scotty Tuhati is another custom model, Shawn Michaels, Shelton Benjamin, Snitsky, Tajiri, The Hurricane, Theodore Long, Hala Hala Player, Triple H, The Undertaker, Val Venus, Vince McMahon, William Regal, Christy Hemi, and we've also got Divas added as well. We have Dawn Marie and we have Molly Holly, Stacey Keebler, Tori Wilson, Trish, Victoria also. And we've got the added legends from Door 1. So we've got Andre, Brett, Brock Lesnar is in here too, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Eddie Guerrero 04, different theme and Tron, Goldberg himself, Gold Dust, Greg the Hammer Valentine, Hulk Hogan, John Cena 04, which is very cool as well, Mankind, Rikishi, Roddy Piper, Scott Steiner, Steve Austin, Test, and The Rock. So I'm gonna go with The Rock and Mankind here because I just wanna show you some of the different things that have been changed. And also I requested these changes and so there's always a cool little part there. So um, originally The Rock um, in this game ha had a complete mix. He had, the 2000, he had the 99 look with the 2001 theme with the 2003 Tron, it was all over the place. That's been fixed. As you can see here, and hopefully you can hear if I've mixed everything correctly, The Rock has his 1998 Survivor Series look, and he's got his late 98-99 Tron, which looks, which fits the aesthetic and fits really well, and um, I'm surprised that um, it was handled so poorly in the original, but now we've got this, and um, just a little thing, but looks really, really cool, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And it is a fantastic looking model. You know, SmackDown vs. Raw isn't a great game um, when compared with Here Comes the Pain, but the Rock model in that game too is fantastic. And uh, like I said here, the Day of Reckoning 2 stuff is just tremendous. Look at that. Look at that. That looks insane. The detail on the sideburns and everything. 
fantastic. But to have the proper Tron and everything, tremendous. Same for Mankind. Originally, Mankind had his um, well, his his um, theme before he started wearing the long black sweatpants. But here he has his Rec theme and his Rectron, which is really nice to be included as well. So once we get through this then, hopefully Mick makes it down to the ring quick enough, I will show you just how many weapons you can take out and just how much madness you can have here. And um, I did speak about Raw 2 a bit before, and I do find that game a little underrated. I do think it's really, really enjoyable. And I think you should check it out if you've never played it. But we're not here to talk about Raw 2 now, we're here to talk about Day of Reckoning 2 and all the fun things you can do here as Mick Foley makes his way around the ring. Miss Foley's baby boy! So everyone loves hardcore matches. And Day of Reckoning 2 has some unique weapons, the pipe, the brass knuckles, there's just so much to do. So hopefully you enjoy this as we get into it now. And I can skip forward on this to make it a little quicker as well. Here we go. So you have your standard weapons and you think, okay, this looks cool and everything. That's a lot already. And then you just start picking things up. You start with a nice little ring bell to the head, you know, classic rock and mankind, and you go, okay. And here's another one. Keep him away from me. And here's another one. And I think, I don't know if there's a, la uh, a limit on the amount of tables you can have, but at one point I had three out there and it's just insane what you can do now. You can just, to your heart's content, you can have like the most insane hardcore matches Arkham matches are always a favorite of everyone's. I mean, there's the first table. He's got a trash can. It just keeps going. Get up here now. Show a little DDT. I never liked that you fall apart when you do moves here. Like, I always thought it was a bit lame, but... Oh! Like, I shouldn't take damage from that, but... Um, still a pretty cool bump. And that rock model is just insane. Let's see. More stuff. So we've got a championship belt. This. Boom! Over the head. And I can just keep taking them out. I don't think I'll hit the. I don't think I'll ever hit the limit with the um, with the way the stamina system works in the game. But you can just see. You can just keep keep on taking stuff more and more and more and more. And it's just really cool. Another table. That's fully takes it out there. Oh, backdrop on the steel steps. Oh, I broke the two weapons by falling on them. That's not good. See there. Oh, the rock DDT. I think he used to call that lane the SmackDown. Ken Jarmok used to take it beautifully. There's another table for you. So you can see now I'm getting into the rhythm of just take it out tables. See again. And another one, you know, like you can do what you, you can literally do what you want here. It's like a big sandbox. You can do whatever you want. Just take fully apart here. Oh my God. It's not looking too good for old nickels. Look at that model, tremendous. All right, let's take a table in here. I'm trying to show you as much as possible while I can. So I can't waste too much time here in this hardcore match. Nice grab, belly to belly from the rock into the referee, of course. The hitboxes and the weapon physics in this game are fantastic, they always have been. Let's see if I can whip him directly onto it. Very nice. Get up there, Rocky. Okay, now I, this is the one time I can't get up. All right, rock bottom, through the announce table, or through the announce table, through the regular table. Oh my God. Get up, Rock. Get up, Rock. Come on. Yeah, we called our spot. There we go. So that's what the hardcore match looks like. He'd probably kick out now, despite me. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Should have known better. The game, this is the one thing I never understood about this game. You know, you put them in blue, just like the old uh, No Mercy games and everything, and you're like, well, it's done. There's nothing he can do. But here he is, having a fantastic go at me now, and this match will go much longer than I want it to go. <laughs> Unless, oh no. And you also might have noticed as well that the soundtrack has changed. I didn't even mention that. But uh, it is the SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 soundtrack. Uh, the Day of Reckoning soundtrack is quite divisive. It's a bit... It's not that it's too heavy for me, but I just... It's not the right kind of heavy. It's not really my kind of jam at all. As Mick Foley is just blocking here and having the match of his life. He obviously thinks that it's January 4th, 1999. Oh, shit. This is not good. Oh, this is really not good. Oh, this is really not good. I'm gonna waste my finisher now. He's got like three, and he's got, of course, he's got perfect momentum. And thus begins Sean's punishment of playing door two. Try to make a nice recording, try to make it nice and quick, and it goes absolutely to shit. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Yeah, of course. Oh, pff. 
Look at this strat. He's twisting it around and everything. Look at this fucking strat. What a dickhead. <laughs> of course, and it's on the highest difficulty, so no matter how much I touch, he's gonna do big damage, and my, my head will be on, like, red after this as well, which is just the worst. I'll probably get pinned off it as well. Oh, no. No, he's going to pin me off an elbow wrist lock. Of course he is. Yeah, look. He's gonna go for it. I know he's gonna go for it. Go on. Have your moment, Nick. Fuck you. Oh, God. Oh, well, at least I took out the ref. That might give me a bit of time. Here we go again. Aha. Blocked it. See, that's how it's done. A bitch. Let's see. Can we get away with it? Come on. Come on, Nichols. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Give me a break. Jesus. Still got two finishes left. Make Foley. Superplex. Come on now. Cut me a break. Oh. oh, what's this twist around bollocks? I, I'm not gonna make this. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh my god, why are you a counter fiend? Why do you counter everything? Oh, yeah, that, that would be typical now. I counter everything and he beats me with a roll up. Come on. Oh, how did I miss that? Rock. Oh! Come on, I can't see from the angle. Oh, the rock's been busted open! Ah! Oh, screw you! Oh, the rock, the Brahma Bull! Fighting back now! <laughs> Sorry, I needed it. I needed it. Rock bottom! Rock bottom! Bam! It's not exactly in the middle of the ring, but fuck it. Can't see a thing. Rock bottom! Flip him around a bit. Oh my god, come on. Oh, he did a flip. <laughs> it's not the middle of the ring, but the rock doesn't give a damn. The most electrifying move in sports entertainment today. I was even gonna hit the. I don't think he's gonna hit the other side of the rope, is he? Oh, he did. Oh, people's elbow. Right in the heart. I miss a Foley's baby boy. The cover. One, two. The Rock does it. The people's elbow. You smell what the Rock is cooking? Yeah. Awesome. Look at that. Fantastic. The Rock does it. That's your hardcore match, ladies and gentlemen. So let me show you some of the tag entrances. And um, then I'll try to show you some of the theme changes. And I think I might call it a day because I'd love to do a rumble for this type of video. But this game, unfortunately, has the worst um, mindset when it comes to the rumble. You come in, when you're eliminated, you don't play anymore. It's terrible. And so let's do a tag team. Uh, ooh, Hell in a Cell could be funny. Do they still have entrances if it's a Hell in a Cell? I guess I'll play it safe and do hardcore because I, I want to show you the entrances. Um, so we're going to go Luther Reigns and, of course, Mark Jindrak. Let's see there. Luther. As we go down. Down, down, down. There we go. And we'll go against the Bashams. A little heel versus heel action. Vinny Russo would be very proud of me in this one. So the Basham brothers minus Shaniqua. Everything is good. All right. See what you think of this one. So Team Angle versus the Basham Brothers versus the Cabinet. Oh yeah. The following tag team hardcore Look at the boys. Really good announcing. Really good announcement, the calls are in there, you know, the attention to detail is there. And like I said, it's a version 1. So there is going to be future editions of this, so if you see anything here, or if you're able to give feedback, you know, please do. Because that's how we improve on these mods. That's how the mods get better. Oh yeah, the boys! Very, very good. 
Hey, we got a little custom thing going on there. Nice. And the models look pretty good, you know, from door one, they really have been carried over well here. Um, he spent a lot of time getting these right, and uh, I think it's paid off. And those tag team belts look gorgeous as well, I forgot that they were tag team champions, but um, a happy accident makes the video look a lot cooler. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see. Look at, the, look at that Luther. it's fantastic. The size of him as well. Oh no, on the chair! Not a great start for Luther. Come on, help me, Jindrak. Ooh, that's not good. Oh no! And you might have noticed as well that the referee is wearing a SmackDown shirt in the SmackDown Arena. That is also another little thing that you might have picked up on. Or you might not have. You might have seen it already. And I pointed out nothing to you. But it's there. Okay, this is not looking good for me at all. I've spent like 10 minutes on the ground. Okay, there we go. That's a little unfair for the CPU. If we were playing two player online, if the camera just focuses on me. To the floor! <laughs> Whoa, Danny, where are you going, bro? Oh, no. Oh, counter. Look, you just to keep grabbing for weapons because there's so many available. Just keep going. Let's see what we got. Kendo stick. Sandman time. Singapore cane. Oh, I broke it already. Next one. Pipe. I used to have, like, a Stone Cold figure that came with, like, a pipe like that shape like that and I always kind of sat there and went when am I going to use this in an angle you know so I was fantasy booking with my figures 20 years ago oh oh Jindrak stop getting waffled in front of me oh good old wrestling maneuver that's what you need to see in a hardcore match someone using a belly to belly lock on the chair unbelievable Luther Reigns is down oh oh look at this now if the rain's behind him. Oh, we're just battering them now. Man, everything breaks after two shots. Not my trusty lead pipe, though. Gotta be careful with the stamina. Of course, this game would be amazing if stamina could be removed, but uh, unfortunately not. But um, I pray that one day it's figured out, because it is just the worst. I don't know how people play the other games with stamina. I never put it on. Never would. Just thought it was the worst thing you could add to it. Just slows it down. You have to think about what you're doing, and it's just... I, I don't I don't play these games to, to be thinking, you know? That's for Fire Pro or King of Coliseum. I just want to have fun. I just want to batter people with shit. Oh, wow. Danny Basham is having the match of his life here. Let's see what we can get. Still looking for a table. Unsuccessful. But I'm going to keep pulling out weapons, see how many I could pull out. Because I've actually got time here. Two. Three. Four, five, six, <laughs> seven. That is just unreal. Like, look at the, look at it. Oh, pfft. that is so cool. Wow, do you just block everything, bro? Like, well, this is not good. Oh, a bear hug. Oh, Jindrak's got to finish. Oh my god, there it is! Oh! Oh, shit. Looks like you don't have a leg to stand on, brother. There we go, look at that, helping my buddy. Let me break all these weapons now. Could have new tag team champions. New tag team champions tonight here on SmackDown. Oh, Mark, get out of the way! Oh, you want a piece? You want a piece, Doug? Get in here, come on. I'll show you the business. Damn it! Woo! Big slam! With the reins, omnipotent. Hey, a good, a good old wrestle. That's what we need in here in the business. More people doing wrestles and hardcore matches. Oh, DDT on the chair. Brutality here on SmackDown. Tag division has never been better. Bear hug! Bear hug! Oh! Doug is not doing too well. Danny might have sacrificed his own brother there. Big suplex! Oh. Jindrak now with momentum, with the elbow drop. Doug is just dropping leg drops here on Luther Reigns. Luther Reigns is, Luther Reigns is dead. He did not get his peas. He's not happy. Thanksgiving has come early for me. Doug counters. Come on then. Now you don't want none of this. Oh, but maybe he does. Look at all the trash cans here. 
Let's see if I can do a suplex on everything. What is he doing? Oh my god, what an animation. Oh no, he's caught me in it! Oh no! Oh, pump handle slam! The move of champions! Oh, Danny's ready now! This is not good, folks. We're in some serious trouble here. Luther Reigns. He's looking a little worse for her. He's on Dream Street here. He hasn't got a damn clue where he is. Uh, he's hurling his ribs as well. It's not good. Oh. Yeah, you walk around like that. <laughs> okay. No, Jindrak! No! And, oh, well. That wasn't the plan, but it worked. And if it works, you don't knock it. Oh, I hear a bit of Megadeth in the background. Always good to hear a bit of Megadeth. Although, uh... I never was a fan of <laughs> this uh, SVR06 soundtrack. Oh man, this is not good. Oof. I don't think I don't think we'll be seeing my version of the crossroads here. I gotta be honest with you. It's not looking good. Oh. Why must you be so useless, Reigns? The ring is littered with garbage here, and I'm just getting dismantled here. Come on, Jindra. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like how am I supposed to dodge that? What am I supposed to dodge? Is that treated as a strike? Oh man, Jindrak is on fire! Look at him go! Suplex, please? Oh, hit him! Just hit him! Oh, Jindrak, why? All you have to do is hit him. All you have to do is hit him. Great. Oh, this is a disaster now. Look at this. We're absolutely screwed. What's he thinking? Oh, he pinned the wrong one. <laughs> You wanted to pin me? Yeah, you ain't gonna pin me, bitch. Yeah, oh please. Leave me alone. For two minutes. Oh, here it is. My version of the crossroads. Oh! Do it. Do it, Jindrak. Pin his ass. Yeah! No! He kicked out! Unbelievable! Go on, get that pin. Oh, don't taunt! Not the time for taunting! Oh, for God's sake. These damn hardcore matches, kid. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Belly to belly. Beautiful. Pick his ass up. Give it. Give him the business. Boom! That's it. That's it. Get him. Get him, Jindrak. No, Jindrak! Ref, ref, you're in the ring. What is the hold up? You're in the damn ring. An absolute waste of space. What am I doing with Triple H I need? Yeah, get in the ring. Come on. Whoop. Idiot. Oh, he's just lying in wait. He was playing possum. Oh. Come on, Jindrak. Come on, kid. Team Angle has to impress. We're better than JBL. Come on, guys. Oh, man. What a stellar year for Luther Reigns, though. Gets discovered that he was originally in SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and makes his way into this mod as well. What an, what an abundance of Luther Reigns. Before we had no Luther Reigns. Now we have so much Luther Reigns. Oh, my God. A beautiful counter. It does, it's, it's worthy of a win. Oh. Ducking the clothesline into the schoolboy. Fantastic spot there from Jindrak. Oh, great. <laughs> what a save, to be fair to him. But uh, I am still dead. Oh my god, Jindrak's gonna spike him. He's gonna spike him! Oh my god, he spiked the both of them! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was like, I have this. I'm so smooth. I'm so great. And once again, it's gone wrong for me. Oh, I didn't even know he had a finisher. What's this? Pump handle slam. Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, Jindrak there behind you. You deserve to be rolled up by that. Wow, Doug is standing over me complete. He is declaring victory here while I'm dead. Oh, power bomb. Oh, reversed. Punch the shit out of this boy. Jindrak, turn around, please.
Damn it, it's not enough. But it'll do big damage. It'll do big damage. You gotta do big damage sometimes. Oh. Yeah, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Are you telling me that animation doesn't sell? That's like one of the only ones that doesn't track. <gasps> yes. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Team Angle for the win. Jindrak and Luther Reigns walk away with it, brother. Yeah. Yeah, boys. Sick stuff. Sick stuff. Fantastic. All right. One more then. We'll do the Hell in a Cell. And I'll show you some of the other themes that have been included in here. Last Man Standing Fatal 4 Way. That sounds horrific. Um, so I'm going to show you the Raw Arena. Because that has a, a Minitron fix. That uh, some people appreciate. So. People with different themes. Okay, give me one sec. So I'm going to show you Sino 4. I'm going to show you Batista. I'm going to show you Eddie Guerrero 4. And I'm gonna show you Maven. Wait, actually, hmm. Eddie Guerrero 04 has Viva La Rosa. What does Eddie Guerrero 05 have? Hang on a sec here. Let's see what Eddie Guerrero 05 has. He might have something good. I, I have a feeling, I have a feeling. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, we get the full experience. Okay, cool. U.S. Champion John Cena with accurate gear and the master of thugonomics, the doctor of thugonomics himself. Looks great. Yeah, you can tell that a lot of time and a lot of time and energy went into this this mod, and hopefully, um, hopefully everyone appreciates it because it, it really is a fantastic piece of work. I've been spending a lot of time with it, and um, I think I'm going to be playing this one a lot offline. It's a really, really good. It's a really, really good one, and you can see the Minitron fix there. The original had like three. I don't know how would you supposed to say that three mini files that would just um, loop over, and it wasn't accurate to TV, and now it is. So what does what does Batista has? I walk alone. Yeah. Yeah. The world heavyweight champion himself. And he's got the call in there. Fantastic. Yeah. If only Pyro could be added in there. It'd be so cool. Awesome. Just looks fantastic. It really is a fantastic looking game. Um, I wonder what a third one would have looked like, you know? Oh, Eddie Guerrero without the low rider. Cool. The other Eddie has his entrance in the lowrider, which looks nice, which looks really, really nice. Maybe I should have showed that one, but this looks pretty cool. He's got, he's got a custom attire, so. Say cause I'm Latin. Yeah. Fantastic looking stuff. Really cool stuff. I really appreciate it. Everything's cool. And then of course. The boy. And from Charlottesville, Virginia, weighing 210 pounds, Maven. 
from 2001 to 2005. The big YouTube mark himself. I've never seen someone get so much out of so little. <laughs> it's like, when I think of Maven, I think of him and The Undertaker moment, and then him at Survivor Series 04. But somehow, he has managed to make so much money and so many videos out of so little, and he's just become a meme now, because anyone who watches wrestling, you just, all you have to say is like, from 2001 to 2005, someone will go, hey, Maven here. Like, it's great. It's great. But, um, yeah. The amount of the guys that have podcasts now and everything, I see Stevie Richards pops up a lot, and at least Stevie had a long career that went from ECW, WCW, WWE, TNA, like, Maven, you got four years and you weren't in feuds for half of them, you were just a guy on TV, like, how much can you talk about this stuff, like, come on. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting noise. So you can see here, um, yeah, you can see here one of the custom, well, two of the custom attires, really. You've seen it in, like, looking at a 2004 attire. I'm sure the detail has gone in on the boots and everything. And the shoes they look really nice. <laughs> and and um, there's a little inside joke between me and the uh, the creator of this mod. Um, he was trying to uh, find out what exactly Cena was with. Oh my god, what? Oh, it has a hitbox. <laughs> oh, okay. I just dumped him on his head. Yeah. It has a hit, um, no, I wasn't talking about that, um, it's an inside joke between the two of us about what Cena was wearing because he wanted to make the gear as accurate as possible, so um, I, I, we laugh about it now, but um, that Cena is wearing like um, one-up Mario um, underwear there, and it, it's a running joke between us that uh, he has spent far too much time looking at men in their underwear to make this mod unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff here as I wait on top of the cell. This is like one of the rare times where they don't all come running up because usually they're just like, oh yeah, I'll come up here. And you can see the Minitron as well there. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, when it comes to the GameCube games, I, I didn't have a lot of them growing up. I, I had WrestleMania 18 and um, that didn't go well. So I played all of these later in life. But the one thing that was always constant was if I had my cousins over and we were going to play a wrestling game, Hell in the Cell in, the, in one of the GameCube games was like, always high on the list because it's just so stupid the way they put like the four squares the way they can flog through it it's just it's just amazing it's just fantastic always fun oh that was close that was close now mr tista oh i tried to i tried to luthez press him through because it's dangerous Ooh, side headlock takedown oh that one's looking a bit cracked too you want a piece you want a piece Maven, it's not the time. Oh my god, just drop him. Oh! I thought that would've went through. Okay, this is dangerous now. This is dangerous, Michinoku driver! Oh, poor Maven gets to hit whatever his finish is. I don't think the implosion is in this one, so I'm, I'm curious what he has. Yeah, actually, I'm really curious. What the hell is he gonna do? He's not gonna do the Halo DDT anyway. Oh, oh. Okay, everyone's trying to throw each other off, so I'll just uh, I'll just sit over here. Jerry Lawler and JR are terrified because they're standing up from there, or maybe that's a detail that they want to get a closer view. I'm not sure. Either way, Michinoku driver! Wow, I nearly knocked all three of them. Oh, and Maven is like, yeah, I want some more. Come on, Maven. You want to go with Cena four? Bring it on, kid. <laughs> Don't think Eddie's gonna get up. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Everyone is here. Well, <laughs> it's gonna suck for you, friend. Oh, spiked him. Okay, we're, we're all a little close here. Whoa, oh, get up, Cena. Get up, yeah. My God, you're trying to kill me. This is barbaric. This is hell in the cell, we don't do that. Oh. What is with the constant throwing? <gasps> Flapjack! Into Batista! Look at Eddie. No fear. Standing on the most broken part of the cell. Absolutely no fear. Absolute mad lad. That's great, Eddie. But uh, I'm doing a suplex here. Oh, jeez. Everyone's a reversal fiend now, huh? Everyone's tremendous in this game. Look at Batista go. Oh, he's in serious trouble. He's in trouble, Cole. Look at them, the two of them, my god, the two of them up here. 
right above us. What's well, John Cena thinking? Bitch, an Oka driver! Oh my god, Maven might be dead. This is absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like it in my life. What am I looking at? Can I look at? <laughs> you really want to go for round three, huh? If you want to go for round three, Maven, I ain't gonna stop you, buddy. But you're going through that cell. Or not. <laughs> the trifecta of Michinoku drivers. See, Batista, you come with me. Oh, no. Oh, fit stop with the throwing. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Batista has fallen. <laughs> what is this? I've stayed up here, boys. I'm John Cena. I don't give a damn. Oh, the referee's been knocked out. This is terrible. But I've got a finisher. Oh, Eddie's walked into it. Oh no, Latino Heat, Michinoku Driver! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I can't move. I am completely on blue. I am useless to the world at this point. But three Michinoku Drivers, three cell bumps, brother. That's what it's all about in the business. You gotta give back to the business. Oh. I don't think I'm moving. Get up, John. John is up. Pumping up the sneakers. Oh, he dodged the damn protoplex. Unbelievable scenes. Oh, okay. Can someone pick me up, please? I don't feel like dying all the time. Cena, come on. Oh, come on. I'm absolutely, I'm cooked. Did he mean to do it? <laughs> Excuse me here while I just, you know, completely make an ass of myself. Oh no, the animal's been unleashed. Batista. He's calling for it, but who's he gonna pick up? Oh, poor Maven. Oh, what is he gonna do to put. Wait, wait, what is he thinking? Oh, Maven. Batista. Who oh! I don't think he's going to win off that. To the floor. John Cena doing everything he can here. To stay into this one. But I can't do anything. Eddie though, on the other hand. Oh, the throwback! Beautiful! Splash! Splash! Oh no, not even a one. Not even a one count on this kid. Oh, Batista is just countering. Man, I've been on blue forever. I'm so dead. Oh, the three amigos. Latino he Spiking Maven. That could be all. One, two, three. No, it is. It is. Can you feel the heat? Latino heat picking up the win. Well, fair play to him. All right, one more, I'll do a TLC, and then we'll call it. Then we'll call it, because the day must begin. Day cannot be spent playing video games all day, unfortunately. TLC. Um, what? Oh, these are so many beautiful arenas, aren't they? Um, Armageddon, why not? So, everyone loves Brock and all that, so why not? Give the folks what they want. Um, do I prefer Brock or Goldberg? Go Goldberg. Stay loyal to Goldberg. Brock. <laughs> Scott Steiner. Who else was added? Someone else who would be funny. Rikishi, why not? Four lads. Let's see what we've got here. Just to show you one more. So this will be the last one then, and then uh, you'll be able to play it. So hopefully I've shown enough for you, but there, there is really a lot to it, and it's a really, really fun mod. So please check it out. Oh! 
Goldberg! I'd like to see an update for the next version to have him in his black and white little shorts that he wore during the majority of his WWE uh, run. That'd be one of the requests I'll have anyway. So I'm sure, uh, <laughs> I'm sure Sack, Mr. Sack, I'm sure Mr. Sack will be watching this now and going, that motherfucker. He knows I have to try and make that now because he put it in a video. That's right. If I'm going to put you over and talk about your mod, you have to make some of my requests. That's just how it is, huh? That's just the business. You gotta give back to the business, as they say. So his his first Tron is literally just WCW clips mixed with him attacking the rock. Oh, here comes the pain call. Rock Legender. Here comes the pain. Whoa, what's going on with the fingers? Lesnar. An absolute animal of a man himself. Banned from the WWE now. Probably never see him again. Pow! Great looking stuff. Tremendous. It's such a simple pose, but so cool. Same time. Oh, he's Scott Steiner, and he, you don't know what he's capable of, because everybody knows, they want to know. A lot of freaks in the arena tonight. Oh, yeah. Big bad booty daddy. Probably one of the worst themes out there for a main eventer. When you think about it, just sirens with a, like a beat over it. But it works. And the chain link like headdress has just always been a fantastic addition. Can team them up with Test and win the tag team championships if I want. Can do so much. Oh yeah. Large and in charge. <laughs> All right, Scott, we get it. Jeez, come on. It's Rikishi. And Rikishi. Yeah, well, there you go. None of these men known for being ladder match specialists, but I'm sure will climb to the top. Oh, Rikishi goes over the rope. Interesting. I never pictured him doing that, but I'm sure he did. Alright, that's enough ass for me. Let's get into this. Yeah, let's go. What's this uh, MMA fighter stance I've got here? Whoop. Boom. Now, I wonder does the same thing work where you just keep pulling out weapons? Of course you do. <laughs> but can I pull out- Oh, Brock! Brock and Goldberg heating it up. Nope. Oh, no, please. Oh! Well, thanks, Keish. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you for picking me up. Table time. <laughs> the fuck, Scott? Oh. oh, he's got he's got a ladder. Wait, can you have multiple la Oh my god, he's got a table. Rikishi's gonna win in two seconds. Oh, excuse me. Oh, look at that. That's like a twenty foot ladder. What's going on here? <laughs> oh man, this might be a disaster. This might be a bad choice, but uh, I have faith. I'm gonna keep faith. A ladder in the court. I didn't know you could do that in these games. Really? Do you have like specific grapples or does it work? I don't think it works. Wow, gut wrench powerbomb. 
very cool. Okay, I'm curious now because like I, I associate that with the SmackDown games. Now it just grabs them off it. Oh, how lame. What's the point if I can't do, if I can't do what I want to do with it? But I suppose it's kind of cool that it's in there. Oh, Brock with a spine buster. Yo, big quiche. Do something. Steiner is just hammering people in the background. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Kishi. Or Kishi making a good stand for himself here. Everyone thought he was going to be the fun dancing Samoan here, but he's trying to absolutely waffle people in this one. What's this? A chair. Oh, bang. Get out of it. Spear time. <laughs> bye bye, ladder. Alright, I might as well try and get another one because I need one to win. No, not a table. I want a ladder. No. Is that. Is, oh my god, you can literally just keep pulling out because these are the three weapons that spawn. So for every. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is insane now. Oh, I might have just fucked myself, actually. Oh my god! <laughs> so you can keep pulling out tables, ladders, and chairs in the TLC match. This is insane. You get so much mileage out of this. This match will become absolutely crazy. I don't think he may... Oh, he gets a ladder. I try... How many, how many tables? One, two, three, four. Jeez. Brock's got a finish. That's very dangerous. That table just got clotheslined into oblivion. I'm trying to win. Because I want to end the video. <gasps> no! <laughs> I was close to. Oh, leg drop. Clothesline. All these big heavy hitters here just waffling each other. A poor Kyoto is in the middle of all of it. Come on, get up, Bill. Get Bill Goldberg. Ah, come on. <laughs> oh no. Oh! <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Spear! Spear! <laughs> Goldberg. Oh, I might have actually done this. Aw, you son of a... Dope. Okay, we're getting in the zone now. Come on. We're gonna win this. So annoying. Oh, look at the power on display by Bill Goldberg! Oh, stupid. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Come on! Who is gonna win this Fatal 4-Way TLC? Bill Goldberg has got... Oh my god, what's the point? No! <laughs> don't put it in the corner, I don't need it in the corner. What's wrong with you? Oh my god. Ugh. Oh wow, well done. Yeah, don't worry, don't mind me guys. I'm just I'm just taking a nap here. And apparently my hitbox has disappeared because Rikishi is stomping me but can't hit me. What is he doing? Oh he's he's is he backing it up? He's thinking about backing it up. Oh well he's not gonna back it up very much if he's crippled over like that. Okay, we've got six tables. There is too much shit here. I think I think I need to get rid of some of these tables. <laughs> Please. Oh come on! How do you miss that, Bill? You suck. Ah, oh, come on! Oh no! No! Oh what? Why didn't it break? There's too many chairs here. Rikishi can't move. He doesn't have enough stamina to do anything. I'm dead. And Scott Steiner here. <laughs> oh, 
what is he gonna do? Alright, let's be cheap. I'll do. Oh, come on! You're so unfair. DDT on the chair! Oh! Oh, he's busted wide open. It's not looking good for Rikishi. <laughs> Another table. I think I've seen enough tables for one day. Yes! He's an idiot! Yeah! There we go! So, ladies and gentlemen, that is Man on a Sax. Day of Reckoning 2 Roster Expansion Mod version 1.0. I hope I have shown you, at least given you a glimpse or a taste of what's possible in this mod, but as you can see there from the end, I mean, there's so many tables, so many chairs. You could just have the most insane matches you could possibly want in this game. So definitely check this one out. I think this is a big one for the Day of Reckoning community. Um, this has been another episode of Modding Showcase. I'm Sean O'Connor, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.